Hello, Swearback, and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Huh? Acer Nitro 5, i5, and RTX graphics. Now, what the customer is saying about this laptop, not too much. So, the customer is saying Acer Nitro 5, no power, no charging, no LED. And yeah, this is bad. But before we are starting, let's speak about our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop solution for all kinds of PCBs. 3D printing, CNC, she metal, all are available on their website. I will leave a link in the description. Every new register, they will have $5 to buy PCBs, which is about 10 PCBs. So basically, you just make an account and you have like 10 PCBs for free. All you have to do is to pay for the postage. Now I did check myself. The quality, it's unbelievable. So check here. Those are PCBs from the PCB way. As we start on the other uh, channel with uh, beginner lessons, definitely I will order some uh, PCBs from PCB way. Before we are plugging the power, I will say, Let's open this laptop and check the main power rail first, yeah, because we can have a surprise. Most likely, we're gonna have a surprise. Okay, so the laptop is open. This is a nice motherboard. What do you think? Hmm? Can you spot uh, any fold here? This is quite a different design. Probably it's a... But it's not old because it has the RTX graphics. But usually you can see here the input circuit, but not on this one. So uh, I will unplug the charger, the battery, sorry. I will unplug the battery and we're going to check the main power rail. Yeah. So checking the main power rail, where we are checking the main power rail? Check here. Capacitors, capacitors. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Zero ohms, but you can't see because the multimeter is not on. So one more time. Capacitor. Capacitor. Main power rail is shorter. Now, this is quite bad. I mean, what do you think can be shorter than main power rail? Main power rail, it's a power line where all power supplies are connected. Well, in the best case scenario, the customer is lucky it is a shorter capacitor. In the worst case scenario, it's a shorted MOSFET, yeah? And whatever is connected to that MOSFET is gone. Now, the chance to be a shorted capacitor is like 0 0.001. <laughs> because most likely it's a MOSFET on a gaming laptop, yeah? On a gaming laptop. So yeah, most likely this cannot be repaired, but if it's a shorted MOSFET on VRAM or GPU, looks like a shorted MOSFET on a GPU based on the resistance, uh, we can disable the NVIDIA GPU and it will still work fine on the Intel. But if it's a shorted MOSFET on the CPU, yeah, that's the only thing what we can't fix on the CPU or chipset, let's say chipset. The chipset, I believe it's under the SSD, right? That's what I believe, it's higher than that. Then there's no way we can fix it. Let's remove the fans. Good. So the fans are removed. Okay, I take my words back. Actually, the CPU, uh, this one, the chipset, it's with the CPU together. So it's not the CPU, it's not there. It's here. Yeah, I told you this looks uh, a different model, different motherboard. Okay, so what is next? Next, we are coming with the power supply. We are lowering the voltage to 0 0.9 volts. And uh, with the thermal camera, we are pushing some current onto the main power rail. 
and hopefully that it will uh, reveal what is shorted. So we have ground and we can come with the current. Uh, we can come with the current here. So here we have nothing because the ground is no ground. And here is 0 0.5 and here is 0 0.8. Okay, so we have current on the main power rail and what is shorted? Lol, the CPU is looking good. The GPU is looking good. What is that? The GPU most GPU. Wait, that's a weird heat signature. That heat signature looks like it's on the other side of the board. I mean, if it will be a MOSFET. Somewhere here. No. This is one of the hell lucky customer. So I believe actually here it is a shorted uh, capacitor. I can't believe. So it's behind of this. It's not a shorted most because it will be a shorted most that I will see heat on the on the GPU. So it's somewhere here on the other side of the motherboard. Wow, I can't believe. He's so lucky. He is so lucky. It's like, you know, when you have this kind of fault, it's like uh, winning the lottery. Yeah, you are a winner. <laughs> okay, so the motherboard is out. You remember the video where the customer smashed the keyboard and shorted the capacitor? But this one looks fine. So must be one of those capacitors, you can see them. So based on what I seen on the thermal camera, here must be a burn capacitor. Let's go under the microscope and check uh, closer. Maybe we can spot it. Uh, you know what? All capacitors are looking fine. I can't spot the faulty one. Can you? Hmm? So must be one of those three. Can we find out? Yeah, we alcohol, right? Yeah, we don't need a thermal camera. We don't need it. So I will come with some alcohol. Perfect. Power supply. Now let's see. Coming with the power supply. And there's no one. So we have, no, 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 sorry, 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 it's here. No, actually I can't see any. One second, let's make it right. So coming with current here. Uh, four amps. No, it's not here, it's here. Yeah. Check there, check there, check there. But the resistance is so low. So actually is this one, this one. Ha ha. Yeah, we could not spot it with alcohol because the resistance is very, very low on this capacitor. This one, you can't even see it's faulty. Yeah, this is the prick. And you can't even see it's faulty. Okay, let's remove the capacitor. Or we should bring the... <laughs> uh, say hello to my little friend, huh? We should bring that tool. Uh, because the people it will say, I'm, uh, you know... The people it will say, ah, that guy which is ripping off the capacitor from the motherboard with a plier. Yeah.
Okay, so the capacitor is removed. If we remove the capacitor, there is still short. Let's see. Yeah, it's still short. Huh? I swear I'm getting older. What's wrong with me? Why I remove this capacitor and not this one? And you guys, no one told me. I thought we are a community. Can't believe. Can't believe I removed different capacitor. It's like you go to the dentist and <laughs> the dentist it will take out different uh, <laughs> different tooth. Uh. Okay, so we remove the we remove the capacitor, but where is the other capacitor? Yeah, it's here. Okay, let's solder back this capacitor because this is good. Okay, let me dip, yeah, let me dip the capacitor uh, onto the rosin, yeah? Just a little bit. Yeah, perfect. Now let's be sure we are soldering the capacitor properly. Perfect! Perfect. So how about now? The main power is still shorted. No, the main power rail is not shorted. <sighs> okay, let's cool down the board quickly. Good. Let's put back the motherboard. Yeah, let, let, let me get some, you know, shorter capacitor jobs. Because I'm watching the other YouTubers, you know. They always have shorter capacitor, but me, never. Yeah, let me have some shorted capacitor jobs. I mean, I have, I have, you know, you know, when I'm looking back and I remember the Dell with the fingerprint, which the video was heavy head edited, yeah? It was like nearly three hour job, you know what I mean? For a, for a power button. Yeah, let me have some uh, shorted capacitor jobs. Yeah, yeah. I had hard jobs. I had enough. Now replacing the capacitor, we took it out. Yeah, on a different video, yeah? Not now. Yeah, that's why we have a reason to do two videos instead of one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, all goes, so everything is on place. Uh, everything is on place. I will say, let's put the heatsink back. The thermal paste is fresh, I can see it. We're going to replace the thermal paste if everything is working fine, yeah? But at the moment, let's just test it. Of course we're going to replace the thermal paste. You, you don't trust me? <laughs> <laughs> people, people. Okay, everything is connected. Yeah, let's connect the battery and let's plug the charger. Yeah, let me plug my power supply. 
So let's switch to 19. Yeah, 19 volts, good. Plug in the charger. And the laptop is fine, it's taking no current. Let's press the power button, which is here. Pressing the power button and the laptop, it is coming on. Yeah, it is strange because it's not charging. And it's taking no current. Wait one second, why is it taking no current? But the laptop is on. Huh? The charger is plugged in. The laptop is on. But it's taking no current. The fans are spinning at full speed. Yeah, we have picture. That's crazy. This is a perpetual mobile laptop. It's working without power. Now it's taking power. Now it's taking like two amps. Yeah, because I plug a Toshiba charger inside of inside of uh, Acer. Yeah. Ah, sorry, there is a user. Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can see you can see the picture. Yeah, all good, all good. It's working fine. It's charging fine, but obviously, when you have a Toshiba charger, you see it's not charging. When I move the charger. Yeah, now it's charging, and now it's taking power from the charger. Uh, yeah, I plug up the Shiba charger in, inside of the Acer port. But the Acer one... Yeah, that's the Acer one, yeah? So the Acer one, the middle pin is, is smaller, you can see it. Yeah. But if I plug this... Yeah, all good, it's charging fine, you can see. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, this is a lucky customer. I will not uh, hold you here. I will uh, replace thermal paste and uh, uh, sort all back together. What you must have in mind, the gaming laptops, usually dead gaming laptops, the main power is shorted. And most of the time, it's shorted by a MOSFET. But in this case, it was a capacitor. This one. You can see it? It's so small. Yeah, that one, that one, that one. You can't see it. I can't focus. No, I can't. Yeah? So this is a special case, yeah? When uh, the planets, they are aligned, yeah? And yeah, you will find a shorted capacitor. So I'm going to stop now. Probably the battery is fully charged. I'm assuming it's fully charged. That's the reason why it's not charging. Yeah, the battery it is fully charged, you can see. Yeah. I'm going to stop now. I'll say uh, thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe, and see you on the next one. Bye.